What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today we'll be talking about how to trigger standing dunks. With this one, we'll talk about what badges and stats do you need, the controls, and lots of other things that you need to consider so you can do a lot of standing dunks. Some of these might sound so basic, you probably know about them already, so try not to expect some, you know, <laughs> mind-blowing things in here. But hey, these things work for me. So now let's get right into it. So first and the most important thing, try to always remember that it's not that easy to do standing dunks this year. You having 99 standing dunk, being 7 feet tall, putting rise up badge won't guarantee you that you can spam standing dunks. You need to learn some things first to make it work. So don't get frustrated if you invest on all those stats and badges and yet you can't do a standing dunk. That's just the way it is, but trust me, this video here will help you. And by the way, if I see a really dominant big, I don't really try these things, I usually just stay outside. I only do these following things if I see a mismatch or the positioning is really on my favor. So try not to force it, especially if you're against a defensive big. So now for the first tip, the badges. So for the badges, I think the two most important here are Rise Up and Fast Twitch. So now you might ask Chutes, which of those two is more important? I really haven't compared them yet in terms of stats, but knowing that Fast Twitch works on dunks and layups and Rise Up only works on dunks, I think it's safe to say that there's a huge chance that Rise Up is more important in terms of doing standing dunks because the only focus of that badge is standing dunk. So logically, it should be influencing standing dunks more than fast twitch. And by the way, I'll be making rise up badge test soon. So after watching, just check the channel. Maybe it's already in there. Maybe there's a sweet spot on rise up badge. And now continuing with the badges, there are two more really necessary badges and they are drop stepper and back down punisher badge. So now you're probably looking for post the riser. I don't think it's really needed for standing dunks. You can even see here that the requirement is driving dunk which means its main concern are driving dunks. And if you are chasing for standing dunks, chances are really high that your build don't have this badge activated, so don't worry about it. For precision dunker though, ever since the dunk meter was introduced, I don't really recommend it on doing standing dunks. So I don't think you need to worry about grinding this badge. Now for the next step, you need to learn to utilize your drop steps. For me personally, this is the most important part in terms of controls. This move here will not only stun or take away the defender, it will put you as well on a good angle to prepare you for the dunk. So it's really handy to learn it. To be honest, there's not much skill gap in this move. The moment you learned how to angle those drop steps, you'll be fine. Now, there are two ways you can do drop steps. First one is this way. And the other one is this way. And what you want is this one here. The other one is not really good and for some reasons, it's always putting you farther from the basket and the angle is always not good. Now, the moment you drop step, you need to look for this shove animation or whatever you want to call it. If it happens, then that's the only time you take the dunk. If it doesn't happen, usually it's not a good time to take a dunk, especially if your defender have good defensive badges or stats. And here you can see, I didn't get the animation. I don't want to force it, so I decided to pass the ball instead. So only take that dunk if you got that show of animation or you really have a good position. But again, as I mentioned at the start of the video, it's not really advisable to try to pull a standing dunk in front of a good defender. Even if you were able to do that show of animation, I still don't recommend it. And here you can see, I made the animation, but usually this defender here can still catch up because it's a defensive big. Now for the next one, in terms of stats, of course standing dunks is the most important, but you need post control and strength as well. Both of them will boost your back down strength and the chances of getting that shove animation on your drop steps or even you decide to do some post spins, post control and strength will be helpful as well. And now for the next one, the controls. Just hold L2 and R2 for the aggressive back down, then move left stick towards the basket and the moment you get close enough, you just need to hold left stick on the direction you want to drop step, then press square to execute the drop step. Then for the dunk, just hold right stick up together with R2. So that's all for the video. Again, if you want to add something, just leave it in the comment section down below and try to check the pinned comment section because just in case I miss something, I'll just put it in there. So that's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.